Greetings, chroniclers. We're embarking on a journey back in time today. Picture a realm of power and prestige, a dominion that spans centuries, the Holy Roman Empire. An entity of great significance, it was central to the political landscape of medieval Europe, yet, like all empires, it had an expiration date. The story of its fall is a fascinating tale of power struggles, changing allegiances, and historical twists. Dive with us into the annals of history as we uncover the events leading to this monumental collapse. The fall of the Holy Roman Empire didn't happen overnight. It was a gradual process beginning with the Peace of Westphalia in 1648. This treaty, which ended the Thirty Years' War, is often seen as the first nail in the coffin for the Holy Roman Empire. It stripped the emperor of much of his power, signaling the rise of independent states within the empire's boundaries. The Peace of Westphalia was more than just a peace treaty, it was an unexpected shift in the balance of power. The once centralized authority was now dispersed among hundreds of independent states. Each state was given sovereignty over its territory, turning the Holy Roman Empire into a loosely associated federation. This loss of central control was a significant blow to the unity and strength of the empire. The emperor's influence was waning, and the empire that once stood as a beacon of power and stability in Europe was showing its first signs of vulnerability. The Holy Roman Empire, once powerful and formidable, was starting to crumble from within. Fast forward to the 19th century, and a figure looms large over the fate of the Holy Roman Empire, Napoleon Bonaparte. This French military and political leader, known for his tactical brilliance and relentless ambition, played a pivotal role in hastening the decline of the Holy Roman Empire. Napoleon, with his grand aspirations of a unified Europe under French rule, saw the Holy Roman Empire as a significant obstacle. His conquests across the continent, marked by revolutionary military strategies, created an atmosphere of instability and fear among the empire's constituent states. The Battle of Austerlitz, fought in December of 1805, was a turning point. This battle, known as the Battle of the Three Emperors, saw Napoleon's forces decisively defeat a Russo-Austrian army. This crushing victory destabilized the empire further, shaking the faith of its member states in its ability to protect and lead. By 1806 Napoleon had forced Emperor Francis II to abdicate, marking the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire. The empire's territories were either directly annexed by France, or transformed into a confederation of the Rhine, a collection of client states under Napoleon's influence. With a stroke of his pen, Napoleon put an end to an empire that had stood for a millennium, the Holy Roman Empire, once a beacon of authority and power, found its end not in a grand battle, but in the political maneuverings of a single ambitious man. The fall of the Holy Roman Empire marked a dramatic shift in the political landscape of Europe. The power vacuum left in its wake set the stage for a new era, an era where the concept of nation-states began to take root. As the once mighty empire crumbled, it gave way to an outpouring of nationalism, People began to identify more with their local regions, their shared languages, cultures, and traditions. This sense of national identity played a huge part in shaping the political boundaries we see in Europe today. But the empire's demise wasn't entirely about destruction. It was also about transformation. In the ruins of the old, the seeds of the new were sown. The political entities that emerged filled the void with innovative ideas about governance and statehood. They experimented with democracy, constitutional monarchies and republics, all of which continue to influence European politics. And let's not forget the legacy of the Holy Roman Empire itself. Its complex system of governance, its legal codes, and its cultural achievements have left an indelible mark on Europe. Its ideals of unity under a single ruler, although ultimately unachievable, served as a model for subsequent attempts at European unification. The Holy Roman Empire was no more, but its echoes can still be heard in the annals of history. The fall of the Holy Roman Empire was a monumental event, shaping the course of history. This colossal empire, once the heartbeat of Europe, was brought down by a combination of internal strife, external pressures, and Napoleon's relentless ambition. Its demise marked the end of an era and set the stage for the modern European landscape we know today. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey chroniclers, don't forget to subscribe for more historical videos. Until next time keep exploring the pages of history.